Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be going over some Battlefield myth busting, just looking at the effects of messing around with the plane multiplier and the stick sensitivity settings on turn time. As a lot of you guys would know, your turning speed is always super important in the dogfight, so any slight edge is welcome, especially in BF5 where turn speed is very slow. The test you're about to see might not be the be-all and end-all tests on this topic, but I'm confident that I've came out this session with a few conclusions, so without further ado, let's go over the result. Okay, so this is 150% vehicle sensitivity multiplier for planes and 100% stick sensitivity. And we're about to approach the rearm point, which is my like marker. And that's 8.58 seconds for one loop on the uh, settings that I think are going to be the best. And two loops is about 18 seconds. Spoilers, by the way. So we're going into 100% uh, plane multiplier and 100% stick, which is what I used to run. And one loop is about 9.18 yeah, 9 seconds and 2 is about 19.4 or something like that which we'll show in a second because it's pretty hard to see here okay so yeah we have two loops for 150% 18.14 and two loops for 100% 19.39 therefore you have a 1.25 second difference and that's pretty significant when you consider every little edge that you want to be having in any dogfight in battlefield like it's all about turn time and anything you can do to get more turn time is pretty significant However, the saying which is going to give you the biggest performance increase is going to be stick, which is the one I've been kind of brushing over. So we'll go show that right now. Additionally, just I will explain all these settings at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And also show how to convert your current sensitivity, whatever it may be, to 150%. And you don't have to worry about converting stick. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so we're back, and I've got stick on 0%, which is default, I think, or it might be 10%. Either way, you want to max this out, because this is default settings right here, or very close to default. And I'm holding down space, and I'm turning that slowly. And I actually just can't believe it. I've muted my audio, because I'm just like, what the hell? And I max it out again, and my turning speed is back. I'm not even going to time this. It's so obvious to see. You don't need to see a timer to understand that this is ridiculous. And I'm changing it back and forth, and... You can just see, it's absolutely insane. Alright, so we're in the menu now, and I'm going to show you guys how to actually get these settings enabled. So go into Options, Controls, and the first one you want to do is make sure your vehicle stick aim sensitivity is maxed to 100%. Now, this used to be 26%, and I'll leave it at that just so I can explain the next thing. So, in advance, you want to go scroll down and find plane control sensitivity and max it out. Now, the thing I was going to explain is mine used to be 100% and I'm going to max it out to 150%, which means I need to change this value to be the same but converted a bit, a bit lower so I can actually, it feels the same but it's different so I can turn a bit faster. And I'll explain how to do that. So you want to alt tab into your calculator, got it conveniently here, uh, not planned or anything. And you want to look at your multiplier in percentage and convert it to decimal. So 150% would be 1.5, and I'm currently on 100%, so that's 1. And you want to find your like combined sensitivity. I don't know what to call it. But let's say, I'm, I'm going to do an example here. Let's say I'm using 40% plane sensitivity multiplier with 35% in-game vehicle sensitivity. So my combined sensitivity, or whatever you want to call it, would be 35 multiplied by 0.4. That's at 40%, right? So 40% in decimal is 0.4 right so you want to multiply that out and you get 14 but I want to be using that sensitivity 1.5 percent multiplier so I just divide it by 1.5 and you'd, your in-game sensitivity for 150 percent would be 9.3 now similarly for what I'm going to do mine would be 26 times 1 so I'm just going to leave it at 26 and divide it by 1.5 and that will give me 17.3 as my new sensitivity so I hope that's easy enough I'm sure people can help you to do it if you don't know how to do that, but it's pretty simple. And I hope this helped you guys, and you might be able to get a bit of an edge in dogfighting. Because I know that I get asked at least 100 times on every video a week, probably not, over-exaggeration, but I get asked this a lot, how do you turn so fast? And I wasn't actually turning as fast as I could, so now I'm turning even faster. But uh, I hope that helps you guys, because some of you may have had this setting on 0%, and that would have really hindered your performance, so... Yeah, this video should help some of you, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, and uh, sorry, just going to jump back real quick. I'd like to give a quick shout-out to the people in my Discord that actually uh, pointed this out to me.
without them I wouldn't have I've heard it before but I never thought of testing it and they did bring it up so quick shout out to Icevogel, War and I'm pretty sure those are the guys that brought it up but and Blade yeah these guys are all talking about it in my discord they suggested that I talk about it and yeah I decided to quickly go over and test it and it's only because of that that I've actually found out and I'll be able to share it with the rest of you guys so massive shout out to these guys uh, invite link will be in the uh, description if you want to join my discord it's pretty lit and i'll catch you guys in the next one for real this time peace <laughs>